These beautiful cattle are said to be the most prized in the world, producing the highest quality beef you can buy. Not only that, their beef is heart healthy, unlike any other in the country. We're going to tell you why. We're at the beautiful Heartbrand Ranch in Gonzales, Texas, where these cattle are raised, and I'm with the president, Jordan Beeman, talking about the Akaushi breed, unique to any other cattle, and unique also because you all literally raise these cattle from birth till they're adults, right? That's right. That's what's really unique about our program is we have a relationship with these cattle from the time that they're born. I'm not like all the other meat packers or meat companies out there who might just pick specific animals that actually fit their box or fit their specifications. We actually know what cattle, we know that they're Akaushi, we know that they're certified Akaushi beef, and we have a relationship with these cattle all the way to the time of birth. And that makes a big difference. For one thing, you know what they're raised on here, this incredible right. natural grass. and. They're marbling. These cattle are different from a DNA standpoint than any other because their beef they produce is actually heart healthy. The beef actually has a positive ratio of monounsaturated saturated fatty acids. So when you take this oil, it's more soluble at room temperature than any other product that we can get from an animal protein. Which we've actually done. We've tested right. them and shown the difference between standard you know, hamburger meat and the Akaushi. Right, and that's exactly what you think about what that does in your body. This beef is more soluble at, than any other protein source out there that comes from an animal. And it's been certified. You guys have done studies at different universities, right? So we've done a lot of work with Dr. Stephen Smith at Texas A&M, a, a specialist in uh, fatty acid composition, where he studies our oleic acid, which is a very unique acid found in these cattle, and also our ratios, and then what that can actually be done to human health. And in many times, it's been seen to have positive health attributes in human health. Well, you know, you can tell when you just look at one of the beautiful steaks that's Akaushi, the, the marbling physically looks different than what you see on other beef. That's right. That's what's one of the original great things about it. One of the main palatability traits we have is that we have a high amount of marbling, but we also have four main palatability traits that make this beef so unique and so flavorful. Number one that we always talk about is the marbling. The second reason why our beef is going to be so palatable is because we have a longer, thinner muscle fiber. And what that does, it actually takes less shear force to break apart the muscle tissue which is gonna give you a much more tender, much more palatable piece of meat. Number three is it's got a better water binding capability. So if you like your steak more well done, or even if you like it more of the medium side, the steak's gonna be more juicy and have more of that juiciness and flavor. And then the one that we talk about a lot is the oleic acid, which that oleic acid helps with the health benefits, but it also gives it that rich, buttery, unique flavor that you're used to when you have Akaushi. What does the grade come in for Akaushi? We have our heart brand, which is gonna grade about a six to a seven on the Japanese scale. And then we have our beam and silver, which is gonna be about a four to a five on the Japanese scale. You know, I think it's fascinating not only that these beef are heart healthy, but also the history they have. The herd that's right here in Texas literally came from Japan, right? Yeah, that's right. There is a wonderful story about it. Due to a loophole of the Trade Act of 1992, a group of Texans were able to acquire eight cows and three bulls. They didn't make it over until 1994. It took two years of litigation and finally the American government stepping in and saying, you must honor this loophole that there's to be free trade between the U.S. and Japan. So we got a specially equipped Boeing 747 to fly the cows <laughs> over. It came through Long Island. Island, spent a little time in Wisconsin, then brought them down to the ranch where we're still at today. We actually have, still have two of the original cows alive, about 25 years wow. old. Um, so from about the time of 94 to, to 06, the main purpose was to really grow the full blood herd, to build a really strong nucleus, to have some really strong cattle that we can grow on and have a base for for a long period of time. And in 2006 is when my family got involved and we were able to, to buy, purchase all the assets. And we wanted to continue with that strong full blood nucleus, but we also wanted to be able to expand it and get a lot more into the meat program and also take some of the full blood bulls and put them on, on regular commercial cows. So that way we would produce a, a half Akushi, which still has really high and, and great meat capabilities, but allows us to be able to get the product out to more people. Well, I think it's fascinating too. This is the national herd in Japan. And in Japan, this, this is a national treasure, right? It is. It took them almost, they've been working on this herd for about a hundred years. It became a breed in 1932. And what was so unique about what the Japanese did, not only did they look at the animals from the outside, how we do today, but they actually looked at the meat of the animals. They looked at the offspring of a sire and see how well it graded, how much marbling it had. And they took the cattle that had the most marbling and those are the ones that became their superior sires. So it's truly by a long reflection of manipulating a breed of cattle to be able to to marble at a high level is what why the Akushi are where they are today. And I would think one of the biggest misconceptions in the marketplace today is that Akaushi is the same as Wagyu or Kobe. It's not. Yeah, it's not. And I always tell people, I mean, the only thing that's Kobe in this country is a basketball player. <laughs> 
True Kobe beef only comes from the Kobe region of Japan, very much like true champagne only comes from the Champagne region of France. And Wagyu is not a breed of cattle. All Wagyu is is a destination of where cattle originate from. And our cattle do originate from Japan, but they're actually breed specific. And the breed we have here today is called Akaushi. So you can taste the difference with the Akaushi. You, you can physically see the difference. And even more, the Hart brand Akaushi grades higher than Prime. That's right. Generally, a four to a five would be equivalent to USDA Prime. And our Hart brand products, they grade about to a six to a seven. Can't get any better than that. <laughs> no, Amazing. Yeah. All right, Jordan, thank you.